హాయ్ హలో గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ వెల్కమ్ టు మధు శ్రీవాస్తవ ఎడ్యుకేషనల్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ సివిల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ఎంసీక్యూస్ ఇన్ దాట్ ఫ్లూయిడ్ మెకానిక్స్ ద ఫస్ట్ లెసన్ సో ద ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈజ్ వెన్ ఏ బాడీ ఈజ్ ప్లేస్డ్ ఓవర్ ఏ లిక్విడ్ ఇట్ విల్ సింక్ డౌన్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద రీజన్ బిహైండ్ ఇట్ హియర్ ద ఆప్షన్స్ ఆర్ గ్రావిటేషన్ ఫోర్స్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు అప్ థ్రస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది లిక్విడ్ గ్రావిటేషన్ ఫోర్స్ ఈజ్ లెస్ దాన్ ద అప్ థ్రస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది లిక్విడ్ gravitation force is more than the upthrust of the liquid so so we the correct answer is the body placed over a liquid will sink down due to the gravitation force is more than the upthrust of the liquid so option c is correct answer the next question the property by virtue of which liquid opposes relative motion between its different layers is called see the property of by virtue of is here here the property by virtue of which a liquid opposes relative motion between its different layers is called surface tension coefficient of viscosity viscosity osmosis so the correct answer is viscosity so viscosity is denoted by mu we have dynamic viscosity and kinematic viscosity so dynamic visco- so the the relation between kinematic and dynamic uh, kinematic and dynamic viscosity is kinematic viscosity is equals to dynamic viscosity by rho so here nu is equals to mu by rho according to this we have a problems also so according to the question itself it is we see is correct answer the next question a wear is said to be narrow crested wear if the width of the crest of the wear is dash half of the height of water above the wear crest options equal to less than more than none of them the wear is half a uh, wear is less than half of the height of the water is uh, above the wear crest so option b is correct answer regarding to narrow crested wear the next question euler's dimensional number relative to the following so we have euler's number mac number fruit number and another uh, another uh, like uh, mac uh, weber number so according to euler it is pressure force to inertia force viscous force to buoyancy force uh, viscous force to gra- inertia, inertia force is equals to reynolds number and uh, the inertia force to gravity force is called fruit number so viscous force to inertia force is reynolds number so according to the euler's number here option d is correct answer next question when a body is floating in a liquid is displaced slightly it oscillates about option center of gravity center of pressure center of buoyancy meta center so oscillates is about meta center option d next question the pressure of the liquid fo- flowing through the divergent portion of a venturi meter so uh, fr- liquid flows through divergent portion of venturi meter remains constant increases decreases depends on the mass of liquid the pressure of the liquid flow uh, in the divergent portion is decreases option c next question when a mac number is in between uh, dash flow is called supersonic flow supersonic flow is, is mac number is in between 1 and 6 if it is greater than 6 it is hypersonic according to supersonic option d is correct answer next question uh, in an immersed body center of pressure is at the center of gravity above the center of gravity below the center of gravity could be above or below ex- uh, depending upon density of the body and liquid so immersed body the center of pressure is below the center of gravity the option c is correct answer steady flow occurs when so here the correct answer is velocity of successive fluid particles at any point in the same successive periods of time steady flow related to time so option b is correct answer next question a flow is called supersonic if the mac number is in between 1 and 6 mac number so the next question in a forced vortex the velocity flow everywhere within the fluid is non zero finite option d so in a forced vortex velocity of flow everywhere within the fluid is non zero finite next question mac number is a significant in supersonics as with projectile and jet propulsions so option a is correct answer next question a fluid which obeys newton's law of viscosity is termed as newtonian fluid so we have two types of fluids newtonian fluids and non newtonian fluids so newtonian fluids are water and uh, water air is related to newtonian fluids non newtonian fluids like uh, rheopectic 
bingham plastic so these are all non newtonic fluids so mu so uh, tau equal to mu into du by dy so this is the relation of shear stress formula so tau is equals to mu into du by du by dy which means mu mu viscosity into velocity gradient is equals to shear stress option c is correct answer regarding to newton's law of viscosity next question in order in order that the flow takes place between two points in a pipeline the differential pressure between these two points must be more than frictional force viscosity surface friction all the above so all the points are correct option d is correct answer next question the error in discharge dq by q to the error in measurement of head dh by h over a triangular notch so error discharge in triangular notch is dq by q is 5 by 2 2.5 into dh by h so option c is correct answer where in the case of rectangle where in the case of rectangular triangle it is 1.5 3 by 2 of dh by h so according to triangular notch is option c is correct answer according to rectangular notch option a is correct answer for rectangular sorry for rectangular it is 1.5 times of the uh, head dh by h so according to this question sorry we have the question here according to this question option c is correct answer the next question for similarly in addition to models being geometrically similar to prototype the flowing in both cases should equals to so all four ratios of internal force to force due to viscosity gravitation surface tension and elasticity so so models uh, geometrically similar to prototype in this case option d is correct answer next question the value of coefficient of velocity for a sharp edged orifice increases with the head of water so option e b is correct answer next question if cohesion between molecules of a fluid is greater than addition between fluid and glass then the free level of fluid is dipped glass tube will be so here the question the correct answer according to this question is lower than the surface of the liquid so option c is correct answer next question the ratio of the inertia force to the pressure force is called eulers the ratio of inertia force to the elastic force is called mach number the ratio of inertia force to the viscous force is called reynolds number the ratio of inertia force to the gravitational force is called fruit number so we have various uh, dimension uh, dimension numbers so according to this question option a is correct answer next question one dimensional flow is one which the involves zero transfers component of flow option d is correct answer regarding to one dimension flow according to manning's formula the discharge through an open channel is where m is manning's chart here the correct answer is a into manning's constant into 2 by 3 sorry m power 2 by 3 into i power 1 by 2 means a into m into m power 2 by 3 root i then option b is correct answer manning's formula next question in an opening in the side of tank or vessel such that liquid surface with the tank is below the top edge of opening is called notch option b is correct answer next question the property of fluid by virtue of which it offers resistance to shear is called viscosity the next question coefficient of velocity is defined as the ratio of actual velocity of jet at vena contractor to the theoretical velocity so coefficient of velocity is 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 the ratio of actual velocity velocity of jet at the vena contractor to the theoretical velocity option a is correct answer mass of 2.5 meter cube of certain liquid is 2 tons if the density so if the mass density density is formula is mass per unit volume so we here 2 tons 2 ton by 2.5 we get 800 kg per meter cube option d is correct answer next question a fluid in equilibrium cannot sustain fluid is in equilibrium condition it cannot sustain shear stress option c is correct answer next question when a plate is immersed in a liquid parallel to the flow it will be subjected to a pressure less than 
that if the same plate is immersed in the perpendicular flow so option a is correct answer regarding to this question the next question uh, an object of 10 kg mass weight is 10 9.81 kg on a spring balance the value of g is so the value of g is 10 meter per second square next question actually it is 9.81 meter per second so according to this question it is the next question the flow is called hypersonic already we discussed super subsonic is less than one sonic is equals to one hyper uh, supersonic is, is one in, in between one and six if it is greater than high, uh, six it is hypersonic so greater than six is hypersonic according to this question there is no option so option d is correct answer the correct answer is greater than six next question so this is about the fluid mechanics chapter one uh, some of the important questions we will discuss another videos regarding to this fluid mechanics rcc and all civil engineering subjects including in general studies also please subscribe madhu shrivastava educational youtube channel share your friends subscribe and thank you